What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Women in their youth really like men who have more money, are more successful. Um, you, you, we have a term for it. It is called hypergamy. Now, many of you guys can remember that in high school. Just remember when you were 15, 16, 17, some of you brothers, 18, you know, and when you were a freshman in college, you know, the, the, the girl that you like is dating a senior, somebody off campus, and it's like you just can't compete. You have to first, uh, the normal guy has to graduate, you have to become somebody, have to grow into your own have to be a hard worker. And for the average guy, that is how he will obtain a better or higher quality looking females. It goes through that progression. Women who've had that advantage early on because of what they look like, we see that as time goes on, there is a decline. And I want to use Lala Anthony for an example. Lala Anthony is still very, very beautiful. But I want to play this particular clip because after the divorce from Carmelo Anthony, this is what Lala Anthony is dealing with. Here's how it goes. Because <laughs> this is what I'm finding. I don't understand this. This is how it goes. Okay. When you're younger, you want to date older guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying when you get older, you want to date younger guys. But when you get older, only younger guys want to date you. It's the wildest thing. Literally, guys will DM me or want to take me out. And I'll Google them. I'll be like, you're 22 years old. Like, what? How? how like how does this work but like so confident so like i want to take you out i i, I think you're amazing I, and i'm just like when's what's the cutoff like i don't know the cutoff i'm just saying what is the cutoff no, it's a real but, thing but okay but we got to go back okay. we'll get to that next. yeah because we do have but i don't get that. what this thing yeah. is like no it's a real thing the older you get the younger the guys get it. it's wild so you heard what happens there okay this is what's going on and lala anthony is just in her early 40s, 40, 39, something like that. Now, let's talk about um, a certain thing when it comes to Cher. Cher is dating Alexander Edwards, who is the baby daddy of Amber Rose. Now, obviously, Amber Rose herself is a victim of what brothers in the in the sphere or red pill will call the wall are the victim of, you know, aging and not being able to attract the high quality mates. Brittany Renner talked about that on Just Pearly Things podcast that, you know, it's not it's not as easy as it was. Um, and actually, I'll, I'll play a clip of that here. I don't know. I, they're, you know large, they're predicting that 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. Yeah. So much so that big banks are investing in like cat food, wine, like things that go with like single women. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so, big percentage. So, but, so I feel I'm like saying, my voice does matter so, to nav right. navigate through this so, space for them. So it's like, uh, it's like, again, it's such a small percentage of men that you're, like, looking for now. I know. Yeah. Um, how do you want to navigate that, like, moving forward? <sighs> um, do, you, me do you even want to date, like, right now? Because you, you um, so I know some people when their kids are young, like, just don't want to date. How do you like feel about that? Um, I think it has more to do with where I'm at um, mm -hmm. emotionally. And it's not even like a jaded thing, right? It's more of, I know my value. Mm -hmm. I can talk to, I can have one conversation with a guy now. And I know exactly what he's about. So most of the guys that have presented themselves in front of me just want to fuck me. I'm not interested in that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep an open mind and I'm going to keep an open heart. But I know by how a man approaches me, how he speaks to me, mm -hmm. I know that there's, that, that he wants more with me. It is just, I know. I, so that's where I'm like, I'm not going on dates right mm -hmm. now. I'm not talking. I don't have somebody that we talk every few days, every day. I have no masculine en energy besides like my family, uh, our family friend, Jerry, um, I have no masculine energy in my, in my, in my sphere, in my bubble. I don't, because I think I focused on men and just dick in general mm -hmm. for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And now I'm 
I'm just going to get to the business. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand that the window, the percentage, it's, it's, it's changed a lot from when I was 22. Mm-hmm. So all I can do is kind of equip myself financially, take advantage of the opportunities I have now to set myself up mm-hmm. because I can't rely on a man and come, someone coming to save me. I can only save myself now. So you, you, you're hearing it. It's not as easy as it is, right? These women are 30 respectively and 40. Brittany Renner and Lala Anthony. Now let's get to share who's 76. Cher, who is 76 years old, is dating Edwards, who is a VIP of a and Def Jam Records, which is not bad. It's a good career. He's still in the industry, things like that. But, you know, she, he posted, she posted this engagement ring. And, of course, that's his uh, fingers and nails, which he's a, that's kind of weird. But there are no words, Alexander A.E., and it looks like a cryptic post signifying that they might be engaged. All right? They get along really great. Even her friends don't want her to deal with him. That's another video. I want to talk about why Cher dates younger men. She says this, and I quote, if I hadn't met younger men in my life, I would have never had a date because older men just didn't like me that much or all that much. I have had a couple of boyfriends that were hovering my age but they just didn't like me for some reason. Maybe younger men don't care if you're funny or outrageous or want to do stupid things and you have a strong personality. I'm not giving up my personality for anybody. I saw a comedy skit on this. I want to play this particular comedy skit that proves everything we're talking about right now. There's nothing wrong with my attitude. The problem is with men. They can handle a strong woman like me. I'm a strong, empowered, and independent woman. I am sexually liberated. I don't need to submit to any man. I can't do without men. Okay. So you don't need a man. What do you need? Well, I am a man that would serve me. I just need someone that can help me out whenever I need help. Oh, I see. A few moments later. The problem is, I don't know why men are not asking me out. And the ones that ask me out, dump me after we go on a date. They don't treat me like a lady. I'm in my 30s now and I need to get married. Why can't I find a good man? What is wrong with men? Why are they not approaching me? Where are the good men? Really? So, you've seen that skit. This is pretty much Cher. This is Lala Anthony. This is Amber Rose. Here's what we're talking about. When Cher talks about older men, let's, let's break this down. Older, rich men. Older men with means. Older men with options. That is what she's talking about. She's not talking about an old guy who works at Walmart. She's not interested. She wants an older man that is a CEO of a company, that is an older man that has access. But the, but the reality is, Cher, you want an older man to put up with things that he shouldn't have to put up with such as what you call a strong personality. And you're not giving up your personality for anybody, which you don't have to. But what happens is when you do that, here's where you end up. You end up, listen to what I'm about to say, dealing with guys who are son husbands. Dr. T.S.N. Johnson talks about this. Very, 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 very clear. I won't post a clip, but if you look at the video that we did on Sun Husbands, you would understand. These women who are so um, adamant about being in the industry, having ownership, um, you know, they're doing successful things. I don't have a problem with that. Let me just congratulate all black people or or women in, 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 in general who have that ambition. I think God bless you. If you want to be in the business world, if you want to be a boss, if you want to be a so called hustler, I think that's great. I think that, you know, you shouldn't be discriminated based on your talent. 
But at the same time, don't talk about, I don't know why men who are my age don't want to be with me. It's the same reason why you didn't want to be with them when you were young. Because they feel like you don't have as much to offer. And they have opportunities now to deal with something else. So if you have a personality that's not attracting to what you need to be with, you're not going to get it. You're going to be around men that you feel that you can control. And she's dealing with Alexander Edwards because she feels that he has less than her. If Alexander Edwards was worth what P. Diddy was worth, he wouldn't deal with Cher. Let's just be real. If Alexander Edwards was worth what P. Diddy was worth, he would have never dealt with Amber Rose. She wouldn't have a chance. And it is important for people in the relationship market to, you know, either you do, you, you, you if you want to be with the right kind of guy, you act accordingly, or you deal with guys you can control and be miserable. And you can make yourself feel good about it if you want. But we all know the truth. You don't respect this guy. You don't. You don't respect this guy. Everybody can see that. When you're out with the guy, Edwards, right? Yeah, I mean, I trolled Amber Rose a little bit, but you don't respect this dude. Everybody knows that. This is not something that's secretive, okay? And a lot of ladies are out here trying to make it seem as if they have options when they're admitting that they don't. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already put you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out. Thank you.